bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, sir? You want to see what the mask sees? No, she doesn't. Don't look through it. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. Different. It's another world. Different. It's lighter. That's nicer. I like it here. Can we stay? Let's stay. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. He's close. Yes, about you. He loves you. I'm calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. We're going. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. The gate. She can't. She can't. She will. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him. Before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. You always let him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick. Where is he? Where's he gone? The way. We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Do you remember what love feels like? Senua, you've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. 
Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement, an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. 
but the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds, that of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future, two realities tearing at her soul. To ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hel keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior with Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony, 
The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. Could she trust you? A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Dillian saved you from them. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a true? The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the real world. It's the gods are things, but it doesn't mean anything. Dillian, you can't read this language. You don't understand. Simba was right. But they're all about wasting your time. Just to do it. by minute by minute. <laughs> what do you think she's doing? <laughs> you special. She thinks she. Nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. That's it. Quicker. Quicker. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking them from the inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. You think they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind, and they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. 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 
in blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. They've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. I've reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shannon. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind. Not the sword. You're no coward. Prove that to me in the warrior tribe. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't all bad. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior today. You need. Seems that. 
there's no escaping the past in this place. And so she's forced to relive it. To what end? There is a house. Not following me. Leave it behind and keep moving forward. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control.
as well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Forged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And the sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. strength to pass the warrior trials and she saw a way out to leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. Go back, go back, go back, go back. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. Years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Tell you. Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. The suffering you've caused. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood <laughs> on your hands. Come. 
coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Unleash the sword. The corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed minds. the suffering, Senor. Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Yes. Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless yes. cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? Yes. They were once brothers, sisters, yes. and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you banned from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on your father, Zinmo, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Take yours. It's taking you further and further into 
fight on. Maybe you two will suffer with the pleasure of this rock that let your blood sink into the seas of the rivers of hell. Isn't that what you deserve of the poor death? Give the darkness what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think he would thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends, to his father? She gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Senua, look at me. Do you hear them? Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Simba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us.
hardest battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Listen to us. That's it. She Shall we tell her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? Look up. So clever. Did you miss us? Oh, she did. She did. We're back. She's so glad we're back. Go we on. Which way to go? Look go up. There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Senua. Go away. I'm not listening. tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. <laughs> 